Everybody, good morning, Bill. We're live up in Beaver Creek to the Beaver Creek Art Festival, and I have Elaine Laurent here. Lawrence, sorry, we mispronounced that I last know. name. Lawrence. It's so easy to do. I'm from Northern Maine, French Canadian. That's what it go. comes there out of me. Go. Elaine, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. So you were recently at the Keystone Art Festival. You're up in Beaver Creek now at the Beaver Creek Art Festival. Uh, where are you from? I'm from St. Pete, Florida. And you travel around all around the world to different art festivals around the country or mostly out in the West? Uh, around the country, basically. Okay. We do a lot of shows um, in Florida. We do shows in Ohio, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, all over. And here, obviously, in Colorado. And I'm looking around. Tell us about your, your, your style. What is it? The cigar boxes, the, the empty liquor bottles. Tell us what you do and where it all comes from and how it started. Um, I have no answer to how it started. Where it Let's make something up. Let's I make know, something I, up I so good. I need to have a story for that. Um, I am all recycled, and I do the purses from cigar boxes. Uh, this is actually a Cuban postcard, and it's all Swarovski crystals, and then they are done inside as well. So they're all different, and they're all one of a kind. And then I also do lamps, which is a unique feature, and everything on the lamps open. So they're all, they're all connected, but they're moving parts and fully functioning lamps. Perfect for a bar. Everyone needs one on their bar. You're so right on that. Yeah. For the, the man cave or for the bar or the pool area. Yes, exactly. I love it. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, over 15 years. You've been working with cigar boxes for over 15 years? Yep. Over 15 okay, so years. there's got to be some kind of a... You came across a cigar box one day when you were a kid and you're like, I could do something fun with this. There's got to be something going on there that made you start it. I, I wish I had that great story, but it actually started because I'd, I'd seen them and I liked the idea, but they were so lacking in the creativity. So I kind of made my own. My friends wanted one, their friends wanted one, and the evolution just started. It was never my intention. And cigar boxes a while ago, too, were very plain and simple, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now they're beautiful, and then you just make them even more fascinating, and they're all one of a kind. Yes, they are. I do one of a kind only. Uh, some of the boxes are more detailed, and some are plain. I do have some um, with records on them. I have old postcards, just a little bit of everything. So I've fur, feathers. I use everything I can to do them, so they're more unique that way. And then how long does it take you generally to, to do, let's say, for something like this? Um, it takes about a week and a half because I do several at a time, and it's a lot of dry time and a lot of creative, okay. you know, figuring out what to do with it. I think they're beautiful. Pricing-wise, I mean, what's the average price of a cigar box of your, um, of your caliber? About 135 to 150 depending on what's been done. Like at the vintage records, if I get into the old Beatles records, of course, they're more. Um, when you get into higher-end furs and, and stuff, they're, they're higher priced. But the average is about 35 to 45 Does anybody ever come to you and say, you know, I want one of these, but I don't want a Beatles record. I want this kind of record, like customizing even more so. I have had people send me their childhood records. The same thing with the lamps, with the bottles. I've had people send me <laughs> ones that their late father had given them. So it's kind of neat. It's good sentimental. Oh, very sentimental. How neat is that? And that must be so exciting. Um, you're here today. You're here tomorrow. You have a great variety of cigar boxes and the lamps on, on display to purchase. And people can just buy and run home and put them in their yeah. kitchen or in their, in their home right away. And if it needs to be shipped, I ship. And we are in Frisco next weekend. And uh, if you go to artfestival.com, it'll have all the information for all the shows, parking, hours, everything. Or how about Elaine Sells? We can go to that website also, right? Mm, that has my schedule on it. I don't sell much online because I'm one of a kind and my turnover is very fast. Uh, but it has my schedule on there and, and how to contact me. I love it. So have a great time while you're here. You. You've been to this festival before? No, this is my first time. It's my first time in Colorado. And you're just making the tour. I'm making the tour, and I'm loving it. Good it's such you. a beautiful place. I'm just amazed by the, the mountains and everything. I've had a great time. We're very happy to have you here, and enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank you. Stop by the Beaver Creek Art Festival. Stop by Elaine's wonderful booth here with the cigar boxes and the, uh, the lamps and so much more. We're going to take it to Ashley next. She has a look at your weather forecast.